Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Assalamu alaikum. We created this short video to help you learn the different parts of prayer and also to learn the pronunciation of the Arabic needed for prayer. So we're going to start here with the professor praying Asr prayer. Normally, Asr prayer is prayed silently, but he's going to pray it out loud. Allah, 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 Allah. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahmanirrahim. Maliki Yawmiddin. Iyaka na'abudu wa iyaka nasta'in. Ihdina as-sirat al-mustaqeen. Sirat al-ladhina an'amta alayhim. غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفره إنه كان توابا الله أكبر Subhanallah الله أكبر رب خير الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى سبحان ربي الأعلى الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين والعصر إن الإنسان لفي خسر إلا الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات وتواصوا بالحق وتواصوا بالصبر الله أكبر سبحان ربي العظيم سبحان ربي العظيم سبحان ربي العظيم سمع الله لمن حمده ربنا ولك الحمد والشكر الله سبحان ربي الأعلى 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 الله أكبر رب اغفر لي ولوالدي ولمن حولي وارحم والدي الله أكبر سبحان ربي الأعلى 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 الله أكبر التحيات لله والصلوات طيبات السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد رسول الله الله أكبر بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبده وإياك نستعين 
اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين انعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين امين الله اكبر سبحان ربي العظيم سبحان ربي العظيم سبحان ربي العظيم سبحان ربي العظيم سمع الله لمن حمده ربنا ولك الحمد الشكر الله اكبر سبحان ربي الاعلى 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 الله اكبر رب اغفر لي ولوالدي Allahu Akbar Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala 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 Allahu Akbar Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبده وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين Amar Rabbi Al-Azim, Amar Rabbi Al-Azim Sama Allah liman hamidah Umbana wa lakum khalifu al-shukr Wa'alhu aibwa Amar Rabbi Al-Azim, Amar Rabbi Al-Azim 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 الله أكبر رب خلي الوالدين اللهم حمد وحمد عليك وعبادي شوية الله أكبر أنا ربي العالم 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 الله أكبر التحيات لله والصلوات الطيبات السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد رسول الله اللهم صل على محمد وعلى آل محمد كما صليت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم وبارك على محمد وعلى آل محمد فباركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين إنك حميد مجيد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله So you'll notice that once the professor is finished praying, then he takes the time to sit and do special dua or prayer or supplication. Um, and this can be your time to speak to God about anything that's on your mind or to express your gratitude. It doesn't have to be in Arabic. If you're not an Arabic speaker, it can be in your own language. And it's a lovely time to connect and build your relationship with God. And I wanted to point out that you might have noticed our little dog, Luchi, the little white Maltese, very present in prayer and running around. And the professor was not bothered and it didn't invalidate his prayer. And there are a lot of anti-dog hadith that say that dogs invalidate your prayer or that they're unclean. So I thought this was also very important visual proof when it comes to the professor that that's not the case. And now we begin with the first part of prayer before the actual prayer begins. First, we say the Audhu Bilam Shatarajim silently, like we don't, we don't enunciate it in prayer. Okay. So it's asking a lot of protection from the devil. Can you say it? Okay, so you say, Audhu Bilahi 
من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم What does that mean? It means I seek protection from God against Satan and all that is satanic. We we say at the beginning of prayer, but like when when you say Allahu Akbar, so when you say Allahu Akbar, you just say to yourself Allahu Akbar, but you say it quietly, you okay. don't say it loudly. Okay. Okay. And and it's just a good thing to say before doing anything in life to to seek protection from any satanic influences because you don't want evil or anything. Okay, so now we focus on the pronunciation of the Arabic. We're going to start with learning the first chapter of the Quran, which is Al-Fatiha. Okay. So, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Ar-Rahmanirrahim. Malik Yawmiddin. إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين آمين this next phrase you will say three times when you bow halfway and have your hands on your knees. Subhana Rabbi al Azim. Subhana Rabbi al Azim. Subhana Rabbi al Azim. Now, as you rise from the half bow back to standing position, you'll say the following phrase Samia Allah Liman Hamida. Then while you're in standing position, you'll say the following phrase. Rabbana wa lakal hamd. From here, you're going to go into sujood or prostration position. And as you go down into sujood, say Allahu Akbar. Then once your head is on the floor, you're going to say the following phrase three times. Say, Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. Subhana Rabbi al-A'la. Once you have finished your first two rakahs and you're in the seated position, then you'll start by reciting the following. Al-Tahiyyatu lillahi wa salawatu al-Tayyibat. Al-Salamu alayka ayyuhah al-Nabi wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Al-Salamu alayna. وعلى عباد الله الصالحين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد رسول الله. Okay, now we're going to fast forward to the end. Once you've finished all of the rakahs that you needed to finish for whatever prayer you're praying, then you're going to start by reciting the following. التحيات لله. الصلوات الطيبات السلام عليك أيها النبي ورحمة الله وبركاته السلام علينا وعلى عباد الله الصالحين أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا رسول الله Now you'll recognize that this was the same prayer that you said after you finish the first two rakahs. From here, we continue on with one more prayer, and then we finish out the end of prayer when the professor says, Salaamu Alaikum Rahmatullah, Salaamu Alaikum Rahmatullah. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim wa barik ala Muhammad وعلى آل محمد كما باركت على إبراهيم وعلى آل إبراهيم في العالمين 
انك حميد مجيد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم ورحمة الله and that concludes your prayer alhamdulillah from here i asked the professor if he could recommend the three short surahs that someone learning to pray should first memorize the first chapter or surah that he recommended was surah 112 al ikhlas like the short shortest surahs that usually people who are beginning to pray is the ones that they learn and the ones that they recite in prayer. Um, most important, I think, is Qulu Allahu Ahad because it just, it's a testament of faith that there is only one God and that God has no partners, no associates, um, has no sons or daughters, has no father or mother. So, the Surah Qulu Allahu Ahad, it's قُلْ هُوَ اللَّهُ أَحَدْ اللَّهُ الصَّمَدْ لَمْ يَلِدْ وَلَمْ يُولَدْ وَلَمْ يَكُنْ لَهُ كُفْوًا أَحَدْ صَرَحْ اللَّهُ الْعَظِيمُ That's it. And the second short surah that he recommended was chapter 108, Surah Al-Kawthar. And then I would also recommend the Kawthar, which I, I did, had, I had a tafsir of Kawthar, by the way. A very short surah, but all children learn it. Um, and it basically just means that it's, it's a, a testament that we receive the Qur'an and that we follow the Qur'an. So it says, إِنَّ عَتَيْنَاكَ الكوثر فصلي لربك وانحر إن شانئك هو الأبتر صدق الله عزيزي. That's the second surah. I asked the professor to explain what he said at the end of the surah. Oh, صدق الله عزيزي is when, when you recite any any surah from the Quran at the end of the surah you say صدق الله العظيم Allah speaks the truth, but you don't say it in prayer. It's just when when you recite a surah outside of prayer, mm. at the end you always say "Sadaqa Allahu Azim." And the last of the three short surahs to learn is chapter one hundred three, Surah Al Asr. Short and easy surah is Al Asr, um, and it. it it's, uh, again, I did a tafsir of Al-Asr, it's a very powerful surah, it's very short, but it's full of meaning. So, say, um, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Uh, Wal-Asr, Inna al-insana lafi khusr, Illa al-lazina amanu wa amilu salihat, wa tawasaw bil-haq, wa tawasaw bil-sabr. That's it. Awesome. I think three surahs per, per start is enough. Great. Thank you. Okay, so here is some beautiful bonus material that we also recorded that is a sunnah of the Prophet that happens before you say Allahu Akbar in prayer. It's something that you can work on after you finish the basics of prayer. It is reported that the Prophet when he would stand in prayer he would say that words to the effect that he he stands directing himself towards God. Basically I stand facing God um, and he the Prophet said that this is not a part of prayer but that that was his own um, his own supplication that he would say so it became a sunnah uh, so uh, a lot of people don't do it and actually majority of Muslims don't do it but if you want to do it it's it says وَجْهِي لِلَّذِي فَطَرَ السَّمَاوَاتِ وَالْأَرْضَ حَنِيفًا وَمَا أَنَا مِنَ الْمُشْرِكِينَ 
إن صلاتي ونسكي ومحياي ومسعاي ومماتي لله رب العالمين وأنا أول المسلمين اللهم باعد بيني وبين ذنوبي كما باعدت بين المشرق والمغرب إنك أنت التواب الرحيم the, of course, it's been reported like in, in different versions, but the version I said is the one that the Malikis and Shafi say. But the other versions are very, very close.